What's up YouTube, it's your boy Mauricio here with another review and today we're going to be looking at Iron Factory's IFEX-12 Armor Tactical Staff. Smoke Bomber, Captor, and Silver Flash. Also known as Smokescreen, Prowl, and Blue Streak. But before we get into the review, let's take a look at their accessories. So yeah, these guys come with a lot of stuff. First, they each come with a nice big hand cannon. Very well sculpted. This one is uh, Blue Streaks. They each come with the exact same gun. Just a little bit of different uh, coloring. This one has red. This one is has orange with a uh, gun metal. Which is uh, Prowls. Smoke screens is black. With the silver paint. They each come with a smaller hand cannon. This one has silver for smoke screen. Prowls has the orange. Very nice. And Blue Streaks has the red. They each come with this, this exact same little handgun. Has two pegs on the side. I'm assuming it's so you can peg these in. There's like so much customization you can do with them. You can have that going on and whatnot. So they have a lot of stuff going for them. Let's get those out of the way. Uh, they each come with uh, little fender flaps for their for I guess their armor mode. They each come with the right and the left. We'll look at that later. This one's Prowls. And of course this one is smoke screens. It's pretty cool. They each come with an extra bumper. This one's smoke screens. White with the silver, very nice. Prowls is a gunmetal with the blue. And Blue Streaks is black with some silver and red. They each come with their forearm cannons. Smoke screens. These are prowls, very nice. And blue streaks. And they each come with their alternate back, which is pretty cool. It comes with their shoulder cannons. It just pegs right on. It's got the doors that articulate, which is pretty cool. We'll show you again all that later. one's Prowls, white with the black paint, silver paint right there. Blue Streaks is obviously silver on silver, or gunmetal. Very nice. They came with one shield, I guess they have to share it. It has a peg right here, also another peg port right there, so... You can customize that how you want. I guess it just pegs right here on his forearm, I guess. And he has a shield go on. Excuse me. Come on. And they come with uh, two of these little missile pods. Again, these guys have ports on them. And I guess you can put them wherever you want, whenever you want to arm them up. We'll take a look at all that in a bit. <clears throat> but first, let's look at the figures. Let's start off with a uh, smokescreen. So look at his noggin. Silver paint with the yellow crest. Baby blue eyes. Can look up. Look a smidge down. 
Come on, blood, focus on me. And can rotate all the way around. Very tight. Come on, look down. Uh, let's move this out of the way. And he has a waist swivel. He's got gunmetal paint up here. Silver for the headlights. Arms. Can go out that much. All the way around. They're on ball pegs. Wheels do spin. Silver on the rims. Elbow. A little bit 90 degrees. It has a bicep swivel due to the ball peg. And nothing at the wrist. It's got nice silver paint right there. I guess some teal going on right here. Can do the legs out this far. Can kick back that far. Can kick forward that far. Nice, more than 90 degrees of knee bend. It's got a thigh swivel. Hips are on ball, point, on ball joints. Silver right here on the knees. Red right here on the feet. Silver inside. Very nice. Silver right here. Feet. Can go up that much. Can come down due to transformation all the way back. And not much of a rocker, to be honest with you. And that is what smokescreen can do. They're the same. Same articulation, so we're just going to look at their paint. If I can get these guys to focus. Come on, focus. So silver for the face, baby blue for the eyes, red for the crest. Very good. Orange for the lights. Gunmetal for the shoulders. Some little gunmetal there. Baby blue. Orange. Gunmetal. Some black. Very good. This guy's little headlights. Silver back here. Silver up here. So that's pretty cool. I forgot to show you his back. Let me show you that right now. Very nice. Little blue streak. So he's all silver with the baby blue eyes and the red crest. Red for the shoulders. Red for the lights. Red torso down here. Gunmetal right there. Red right here. Red inside. Black right here. Silver right there, silver right here, gunmetal. So look, they look very well. They look very, very well. Now for some size comparisons. Here's our boy. We'll take these two guys. And what about is a little bit bigger. I guess because of the new scaling, because these figures are a little bit older, but not by much. And here is a Hasbro figure. Let's see how that scales for you guys. <clears throat> okay, let's uh arm them up and see what they look like before we get into the transformation part. So this little piece back here, 
it's on a peg. And just pop that off, put that up to the side. I'm gonna grab this piece right here. Let's make sure fix all this stuff, make sure it's all nice and oriented the right way. And you just peg that in to right there. Boom. It's a nice tight fit. You can move the, I'm sorry, you can move the wings up and down, back and forth. It's on a ball peg. You can rotate them around. You can hinge them back if you want. These are also on a on a little hinge and a ball joint, so you can move them forward, up and down. So so that's that. <clears throat> now we're gonna get his uh, his grill. Just pegs in right into the front, like so. Come on, buddy. Don't make me look bad in front of public. There we go. And we're gonna take his uh, wheel wells, mud flaps. And there's a peg right here on his shoulder. And you just peg that right on. That's one. And that's two, right? Yeah, that's two. So you got that going on. Then you take his forearm cannons. And they just peg in right there. Peg in right there. This gun I just like to put back here. Because why not? And then you do them as two handguns. And there you go. He's all armored up. Oh. So yeah. These tend to get in the way a lot. Come on, buddy. You're making me look bad in front of guests. Stop it. Stop it right now. There you go. So that's smoke screen. Let's do this bad boy really fast. Pop that off. Pop that one on. Flip these around as you so desire. grill put that on I'll put his forearm cannons again these are very very tight fit so taking them off is going to be a little bit of a hassle but hey you can do it pack that in there that in there move these back a little bit so they don't get in the way look down don't look up look down pack that there grab his guns and there's 
our boy. <clears throat> so this, we're gonna take this off. Boom. And slap this one on. Boom. And, oh, hey, let's fix these first. Because again, these are all very tight, so just be very careful. go get over your get over your shoulders there you go there we go and get his grill Pack that in shoulders Cannons. Come on, buddy. Put this back here. I don't know if this goes back here. I just put it there for storage. There you know. one back here and let's start some transformation we'll start with prowl take off his guns and take off his shoulder pads and everything else can stay on which is pretty cool first we're gonna get all this out of the way so we're gonna rotate this all the way back all the way back and we're gonna fold these closed Fold these closed. Yeah, like so. And then we're gonna rotate his head around. Well, you're supposed to, to hide his head. I'm not going to because it's so tight. So next is uh, we are gonna lift this up. Make sure you clear his head. You got that going on. And then you're going to do his feet. So with his feet, you're going to move all these back. Like so. Same for the other side. As far back as you can. And then it's just going to swing open on this hinge. And then you're going to rotate this down around like so and you got that so swing open and rotate around you'll feel it clicking this you're gonna leave flush then you're gonna move these up and they're gonna peg right in there there's a little hole right there a little tab on his arm uh, and you swing up and come on get in there same for the other side that's one and there you go these you're going to swing in, swing in, you can peg them right there together, and 
and you just make sure they fit right into that little slot. So there's a little slot right there. Those are the two little, just go right in there. Boom. Then your little windows, you're gonna move all this down. Again, it's on a, on a ball joint. Just be careful, because it's super tight. And that lays flush like that. Same for the other side. These, you just make sure everything's nice and straight. The hand cannons are used, I guess, as exhaust, I'm assuming. Um, you can flip them the other way, but then it's going to put pressure on the tires and they will not roll. I'm just saying. So you got that going on. I feel like this didn't go in right. There you go. Got it. All right. So you got that going on. That's one. Make sure it's nice and flush. And that's one. Oh, forgot to put these. So the flaps also have a little peg on them. Right there, a little tab. And it's going to go right in there. I don't know if you see that. It's like a little slot right after this black line. And then just tab right in. Boom. And boom. And you got the mud flaps going. And then if you want, he's got ports all over him. You can put one gun here if you want. You can put him back on behind his feet. If you want. You can remove these if you want and put the guns on the side. Uh, you can take this whole plate off because the wings are in the way. There's a tab, there's spots right in there behind the wings. I don't know if you see it. You can arm them up that way. So that's cool. Let's go for this guy. Well, do you guys want to? Yeah, let, let's. Let's show them all off in alt mode, see what they all look like. I'm sure that's why y'all came to see. So we'll fold these in, fold these in. I'm gonna rotate this all the way back, all the way back. This we're gonna flip up. And we're gonna do the legs before we do the arms. This flap needs to be flush. All the way back. You'll hear it click. All the way back. See here? All right. Then you're going to open these up. All the way around. Boom. And you're going to move these towards the front. And you'll hear it click again. There it is. <clears throat> Tab the arms in. There's one. Tab the arms in. There's two. Oh man. You gotta be careful, guys. Fold these in. I'm not Don't fight me these together and then they go in right there fold these down accordingly there you go and grab his little flaps here Got them in a minute. 
Remove the guns, remove the flaps. Pull the wings. And then move all this back. Oh, move all this back. We just saw a stress mark. So be careful, guys. Alright, move the chest up. Move the feet back. Okay, that's one. That's two. Flip these out. Move them forward. Move them forward. Go. Make this back flat straight. Pick the forearms. There you go. Okay. Okay. Fold the knees. there nice peg in the flaps And there we go. Oh, there you go. So there you go. That's what he looks like in his alt mode. This is Dural. This one's a little snug here. So let's look at him. Focus. Focus. There you go. Nice red and blue combo. I like the 38s on there. And got his little wings or doors. Silver paint right here. I mean, for Cybertronian Carmos, they don't look that bad. So it's pretty cool. I like how everything coordinates with their guns. It's pretty cool. Love the silver on silver, it's pretty cool. And I guess for a size comparison, here's a Hasbro car. See how they scale with them. All right, so yeah, that is the review for the Armored Tactical Staff. Um, 
Smokescreen, Prowl, and Blue Streak. Let us know what you think. I dig them. Uh, they go well with all my Iron Factory collections. It's pretty cool. Um, they were, they're, I was just so happy when I got them. They're, they're, they're spectacular. Um, I recommend them, of course. A um, little tight tolerances here and there. Um, all the joints, all the pegs, are a little bit uh, of a pain to put on and take off because they're so tight. But other than that, they look spectacular on the shelf. Uh, so let us know what you think in the reviews. Till next time. Peace.